morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Gold sell-off is no surprise to us. We suggested to our clients about four to five working days ago that we should be lightening up on gold and, uh, you know, and so hopefully our friends and clients followed that recommendation. Uh, we think gold trading is going to be quite treacherous through the end of the year uh, as one of our forecasts for last spring is uh, coming true as we speak. You know, gold has broken below, excuse me, the euro has broken below the 130 level, trending down toward our forecast of 120. That's going to be great for the dollar. And for those of you who think of gold as a currency, it partly as a currency, you'll understand the trading of late. Uh, you know, we happen to like dust as a way of, uh, as a way of trading gold on the way down. Uh, we encourage uh, those of you who are in the business to look at that method. For those of you at home, don't look at that method. <clears throat> um, stay long. Uh, if you've been buying gold with us from the $400 and $375 level, you've still got some nice profits. Our forecast for gold for next year has not changed. We expect gold to be trading to 2500 sooner rather than later next year. One of the reasons for this is, aside from the euro mess that everybody's focused on, <clears throat> we expect the Chinese to have more difficulties. <clears throat> One of the strategic things about China, and this is most important, China only has 10 days supply of oil at any one time. So any action by terrorists, by political enemies of the state of China, to disrupt their supply of oil creates an enormous problem. This is the real reason you've seen the Chinese trying to develop a navy to prevent the Indians from cutting off their supply of oil, or a similarly uh, uh, minded nation. <clears throat> so that's an important strategic weakness that China has. Secondly, <clears throat> the Chinese repression, uh, which we saw yesterday had gotten so bad in the village that uh, reports were even out in the Western media, and there were videos of abandoned police offices and uh, Chinese Communist Party offices. As we repeatedly say, this kind of thing is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, it has been reported reliably that there were more than 100,000 incidents of political disorder in China since last February. Um, a lot of people are leaving the country. We spoke on this about a month ago, how the wealthy are moving abroad, moving their families abroad in preparation for them moving abroad because of the fear of lawlessness uh, caused by living in a statist a communist dictatorship, the fear of <coughs> uh, expropriation of their companies and wealth, uh, the environmental dangers which beset uh, China, <clears throat> and the overall uh, unwillingness of people as they become more successful to have uh, somebody controlling their outside, <clears throat> someone controlling their lives, other than their wives, of course. <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> this turmoil in China we expect to grow. Uh, we expect this to be a factor in Chinese government planning. Uh, we think that the Chinese could easily find themselves in a big Megilla, uh, and that that is great for the United States. Um, there's a phrase going around about the U.S. saying that it's the, uh, you know, we're the cleanest shirt in the dirty laundry. Um, <clears throat> the United States has got a shot. We can work our way through these situations because our economy can grow once again. After the presidential election, I'm quite sure there's going to be a big jobs program. Once there's a big jobs program, there's going to be more demand for the things that are made by U.S. companies. Um, the European situation is going to get markedly worse until it gets markedly worse, until it gets markedly worse. I hate to say so what, but the world hasn't ended because the Europeans have had a crisis. And the world's not likely to end because U.S. banks uh, remarkably trimmed their European exposure from the end of the second quarter on through October, and I'm sure if they've got anything left, they're still uh, going to try to get rid of it. <clears throat> I want to close on a mention of the 610 office in China. 
I'm kind of wandering around on China, but I think it's really important. Uh, the 610 office is the subsection of the state security apparatus, which focuses on the repression of internal dissidents. They were developed originally to uh, deal with the Falun Gong. Uh, now their uh, watching brief has been extended. And so uh, we continue to believe the 610 office is going to aggressively repress. Uh, people are going to start to disappear. People are going to be tortured, uh, and they're going to come back and live to tell the tale. Um, these are all signs uh, that are awaiting our friends in the Soviet Union. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Think dust. Bye-bye.